Hey there, so today I decided to do this short video, hopefully it's short, um, of a, an oil cooler setup for the power steering. This is on my 2012 Toyota Tacoma, but you can do this basically on any vehicle that doesn't come with an oil cooler from the factory. Ford F-150 right here does have a power steering cooler, but not my Tacoma, and this is an uh, off-road model. So if you take, and it doesn't matter if it's an off-road or uh, SR5, sport limited anytime you take your rig out for mall crawling or an actual trail you are generating a lot of heat your your power steering is generating a lot of heat um, so to best help the components stay cool and to keep your oil stay longer um, it's best to have an oil cooler now this is a small system a small unit um, I don't know what the exact size is, but I think it is 11 by 5 by 3 quarters or half an inch thick. It's a small cooler, but it is enough just for the power steering system. Um, so, if you don't know, there's your power steering pump. And another thing that I added was this oil filter. This oil filter down here from the factory doesn't have an oil filter. And I don't think most manufacturers actually put uh, an oil filter. But I decided to put one. I did an oil flush at 70,000 miles. The oil that comes from the factory, it looks clear. Kind of like your brake fluid uh, clear. But when I changed this, because it's never been changed from previous owner, I'm the second owner, the oil was black and it smelled burnt. So it was it was passed through for an oil change, uh, power steering oil change that is. So after I did an, or while I was doing the oil flush when the reservoir was empty I decided to install this small oil cooler and it's actually pretty simple um, what I did was you want to get the line coming out of the low side how do you know it's a low side so you have two hoses connected to a reservoir this is going to be the high pressure side this is your low side this is the return side that's coming from the I want to say the uh, rack and pinion um, and this filter right here that you see on the bottom, this is the inlet. So when we look at the cooler, the bottom side of this, it's what's coming from the um, your rag and pinion. And this is what's going to the reservoir. So this up here is cooled oil. And how cool? I don't know because I don't actually have a... I don't read this. I don't keep a thermometer or a reading on this. So I just know it cools it. How much? I don't know. So the hose that I'm using over here, it is 3 8 inside diameter transmission oil line, oil, yeah, oil hose. Uh, it's got stainless steel hose clamps. I got these on Amazon. You can also get them at Ace Hardware Store. They're, they're good quality. They're pretty good. Uh, the cooler, it's a True Cool. I forgot what the model number, but I pu I'll put this in the description. And there are two ways you can mount this, or several many ways you can mount them. Two of them is... The first one is what comes from the uh, kit with zip ties. So you actually mount these against this uh, condenser. I don't recommend doing that because you would be then transferring heat from the condenser over to the oil cooler over here. So what I did is I built this. Uh, well, I didn't build it, but I, I rigged this aluminum uh, mount over here. I drilled two new holes over here and over here. And I ended up drilling holes on the bottom side too to mount this um, to mount this vertically so it's got two up here and then two down there and then once I did that uh, this cooler actually comes with already marked holes that you can then put your screws through uh, there's four of them and so this is about three inches away from the your condenser um, I did put an extra hose over here because it's rubbing it's touching it doesn't rub but it just touches it so that way I don't drill a hole through my actual line and make a mess uh, it's the same for the bottom I did use these already two existing holes to pass them to this side of the um, reservoir uh, where I'm from the, the Texas Panhandle it does get pretty hot during the summer so I decided to put this over here to help it uh, during the winter these two rows over here the first two that you see here are actually bypass their straight up I guess tubes that go from the from one side to another and the purpose of this is when it's cold in the winter 
it allows the oil to flow freely without creating any uh, pressure drop or back pressure in here because of the cooler fans inside so I haven't had any problems with it during the winter which is cool it's a it's a great little cooler now you can go with the Hayden uh, 675 I think 676 Hayden cooler but that one doesn't have a low pressure cooler line like this one does so this is a true cool by long so there you have it thanks for watching my video if you have any questions about this uh, kit here or how to do it or where I got all the parts um, leave it in the comment section below also don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe here at the bottom right uh, so thanks for watching i'll see you next time